Hello, so welcome to Arrows of Indecision. So this is day two of the layout build. Um, you can see here I've mostly finished the structural work on this module. Um, there is, uh, th this fascia and this, this lid here are just attached uh, to give an idea of what it will look like. Um, but this is the right hand board, so there'll be a left hand board over here. Um, and as you can see, this is the station throat. Um, underneath I've got my, my viaduct now, which has got the uh, various supports uh, screwed in. So I've used small screws uh, here and here. And, and these are going to be permanently fixed, these two here. Um, but underneath I've drilled uh, pilot holes, I don't think you can see, pilot holes uh, just there. Um, so you can see uh, from underneath I'll be able to screw this in. Um, and if I need to remove it, I can just undo those screws. Uh, but hopefully with all these holes in place, I won't need to do that. Um, I've added locating blocks on this side because uh, the laser cut baseboard I'm using, you see this is the thickness of the side um, and this is where this, le this, this rests. So there would be no way for me to screw this in. So actually I'm going to be screwing it in that way into, the, into this block here. Um, and I've got another one at the back. So my goal for this piece is to try and make it as neat as possible. I think with, uh, I made one mistake here. Um, where I, I misdrilled the hole, um, but other than that, I think I'm actually uh, I'm actually fairly neat. I've got um, fixing points over here, this corner here, um, where the viaduct slots in, um, and again over on this side here, where it fits into this hole. And I've given a little bit of wiggle room here because I'm not uh, precisely sure on the exact um, orientation. I think I want, I'm going to measure the centre point. If we look down here. There's this, no, you can't quite see because of the grain in the plywood. Um, but there is a center, a center line drawn here. So I'm going to measure a, a, a cardinal distance, I guess, from the back and have that center line there. Because I know that these rails are something like uh, 24, cent, uh, 24 millimeters either side of that center line. Um, and then that means I can, I can build the, the module that will bolt onto here, the fiddle yard, um, as a separate unit and separately and, and know that it will positively align here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the uh, the track layout I showed you before. Um, I think I'm I'm actually going to to do as I said and, and buy this and build this in in Pico track. Although um, I think ultimately it would look better in in hand laid. I'm just not confident in my ability to do this scissor crossing with a diamond with a double slip here and an asymmetric three way and a diamond that needs to be have the polarity switched. Um, what I may do. Is 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 hand lay this little this little diamond here because I think um, this is probably the most egregiously uh, incorrect uh, piece of track work with so many plastic pieces in it. Uh, and what I may do is is just lay this section here um, myself. Um, that aside, though, I'm really pleased with how it's going. The the next stage will be to I just bring up this. This is a long strip of wood, so please apologize. Accept my apologies for it not being being perfect. But essentially, this now will butt up, um, yep, yeah, this will now butt up to the correct height uh, to be the front of the, of the viaduct. So, I don't, I don't want to break the wood, but yes, essentially like that. Um, so my next, uh, my next, uh, piece of work is going to be to, um, draw out, um, the, the fronts of, of the viaduct and have that pinned to here. Um, I'm going to need a little peg here to support this corner and essentially have, uh, I'm going to have an open arch here and an open arch here um, and this, this is going to be a, a closed arch and this will be a closed arch, this will be closed off uh, and there will be a big building here so this will be, this will be closed off as well. My, my idea is that there will be a big building here to cover this exit. Um, I mean, obviously, if you if you come right round, if you think the building is going to come up in this corner here, if you come round to 45 degrees or so, you're going to be able to see it, but I can't stop everything. Um, and this is going to be uh, probably... Uh, there's a thing in Waterloo where there's a spur like this that just randomly seems to come off of the main line, and obviously it's much larger uh, in Waterloo. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a signal box, an area for a signal box or a wagon hoist or something. So uh, I'm going to model this. This is going to be set in the uh, the... The Edwardian period, period. So things like goods at big suburban urban stations are not not so common, uh, but they would have still been the infrastructure. So this this could be a space for a signal box. It could be a space for um, a probably not a very big signal box. Thinking about it, but but maybe an old wagon hoist area, um, which is why this has come out here. And I, I really like this curve that we get. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to need to make sure I do something interesting in this corner here because your eye is drawn into the center. Um, and it's a little, a little bit of a shame that I've got um, both the uh, the point motor for this slip and the the loco, the pilot spur, and the the platform four um, in there because it means that the only space I can really use is this. This is like a semicircle here. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about that and, and see what I can do. I maybe have something in the middle here, have the road coming around and have something in the foreground. Um, I think it's very important for me to break up vertically because my trains, although they're going to be um, prototypically sized um, within reason, um, they are still going to be relatively short. My longest train is uh, going to be um, a six-coach, six-wheel train with a tender locomotive at the end which is just a hair over uh, three and a half feet um, so I think it's quite important that you can't see the whole train in one view you're going to need to go between buildings so that's my idea is a building here um, in the rear there I'm going to be building a chimney stack or an office building that's coming right up against the viaduct for that section there but but maybe something in the front um, might be worthwhile so you can get diagonal views maybe something even like here so uh, when you were to look you would this side of that um, would be blocked. But yes, anyway, exciting times. Um, that's it for now. See you next time.